Hello friends. So now let's discuss about a bi-directional LSTM. So bi-directional LSTM are an extension of a traditional LSTMs that can improve the model performance on a sequence classification problems, right? So in this problem where all the stamp timestamps of the input sequence are available, the bi-directional LSTM trained two instead of one LSTM on an input sequence. So uh, the what uh, the bi-directional LSTM network connects two hidden layer. So if you'll see over here, so bi-direction LSTM connects two hidden layer of opposite direction to the same output. With this form generated uh, generative uh, deep learning, the output layer can get uh, information for past and the future states simultaneously. So over here, if you'll see when, if we we'll try to simulate over here, if we, we have a sentence called I will swim today. So in a forward LSTM, I would be passed to the first time stem will pass to the second time stem swim pass to the third time stem and subsequently the today will pass to the fourth time stem and then generates an, an output. However, in a backward LSTM, it would starts from today from it will move from the right to the left in forward LSTM, it moves from the left to right. And now uh, in a backward LSTM, it will uh, for a time zero, it will pass uh, as a today or uh, in uh, time t1 it would pass as a swim time t2 it would pass as a will and time t0 it would pass as a uh, uh, i right and then it concatenates the result of both uh, uh, for a same time stem for this i if you'll see here it generates an output and it concatenate with a forward LSTM and a backward LSTM. So if you see any uh, layer of an LSTM, uh, my forward LSTM would be concatenated with a backward LSTM output. And then this would be an encoded representation. So rather than encoding a sequence in a forward direction only, we encoded it in a backward direction as well as and concatenate the result from both the forward and a backward LSTM at each time step. The encoded representation of each word now understand the word before and after that specific word, right? So, but keep this thing in mind that uh, by direction LSTM or RNN can only be used for uh, encoding sequences. Like during the training itself, we would be using a bi direction LSTM. We cannot use it during the prediction time or during the testing time, right? Thank you. Uh, so hope this uh, session would be informative to you. In case of any uh, queries, you can comment below and let me know. I will be happy to answer your query. Thank you.